Hello, welcome back to Texas Cooking. This is a simple video on how to measure and uh, know how much ingredients that you're using. Sometimes if you're working off of a recipe, you'll be asked to use a teaspoon or a tablespoon or a cup or so many grams of something. And you need to know how to measure all of that out. So what I'm going to do today is to show you the proper way to measure different kinds of ingredients. Now, we're going to start with dry ingredients like flour. Often flour is going to be measured in cup ingredients, whether it's a quarter cup or four and a half cups or whatever, it'll be by the cup. And this is one type of cup that you can use. Now what you're also going to need is a knife with a fairly straight back on it, okay? What we do to measure flour is we simply scoop some up, nothing more than that. Now watch what I do here, I'm going to pull it back a little bit to cover that little hole that was on the side there and I'm going to push the flour right off of the top. That right there is an appropriate one half a cup of flour. Alright? And that's the proper way to measure it. Do not tap it down to try to pack more in there. Simply scoop it up and that's all you need. Now, let's move to a different type of measuring. More commonly that you will find especially in smaller amounts, are going to be teaspoon measurements, whether it's a tablespoon, teaspoon, half or quarter teaspoon. You can get these little spoon sets. They don't cost very much. And the proper way to measure with these is the same way I showed you with the cup if you're doing flour. Let's do, I want to do a teaspoon of sugar. Now, when you scoop up the sugar, as you notice, it's heaping. Scrape what's excess off the top that is a prop appropriate teaspoon of sugar. Now sometimes, let's say if you get a recipe that's uh, over from overseas, from Europe, Great Britain, you might run into grams, alright? You will need to have a scale because they do a lot of measurements by weight. Now, you start by turning your scale on and then you'll need to zero it. Now scales are very common these days and they're not uh, very costly. You can find these things at most stores that sell any kind of kitchen cookware. Now I've got this set for pounds and I really should have it set for metric so I'm going to switch this over. There we go. You just start pouring in there. See there I have 14 grams and you can measure very easily this way. So, your scale is very handy. You can measure in ounces or in grams or in pounds or kilos or whatever. Most of the scales are very versatile these days. Now I have over here some water that I have put some food dye in. This is to make it a little easier for you to see. Now if you are using this kind of a measuring cup and you're going to measure uh, an amount of fluid, you would put the water in there, set it on a level surface like this, and then kneel down to look sideways through the uh, glass at the measurement that you have there, which means a lot of bending or stooping down. Now, let me raise this up. You can see a little more clearly right there. Now, there are other kinds of measuring cups. Some of them, like this one, are designed so that you can look downward into the cup. And it makes it a lot easier when you're measuring. So if you don't like bending down a lot, these are surprisingly accurate. I didn't know how accurate when I first got them, but when I started using it, it's very easy to read on the inside measurement. You don't have to bend down to read it. You just look down through the top. So this is a really neat way to measure liquid also. Now, if you're measuring liquid by the spoon like this, all you'll need to do is to simply pour some into it or scoop some out. All right? It's a very simple thing, and you won't have to scrape anything off the top of the knife as the water or other liquids will not heat. Sometimes a heavy viscous uh, liquid, you know, something like a sauce, might heap a little bit and you might want to measure it off at that point by uh, cutting off the top with a knife. But that's all you're going to have to do. So there you have it, basic measuring. Please use these skills to make some of the recipes that you find here. 
and uh, this is all common especially in baking so good luck with your cooking and thank you for watching